just a moment. Let me show you this. So here's what it is. So, so what is the cap? Well, you look at the Mexican plateau, okay? Look where we are here. So here's the state of Texas. Look at the Mexican plateau. What do we have there? Not only right now, but throughout the year. We have warm air that's on those high plateaus of Mexico. What does that matter? Well, when we have a cold front approaching like we did yesterday, you saw the tornado outbreak in, in Arkansas. Uh, what they didn't have is they weren't close to this. They weren't close to this source of this warm air on the high plateaus of Mexico. So there it is. Those south winds we had yesterday, it blew all of that warm air here across the state of Texas. So that warm air in the cap originates from the high elevation in the dry regions of Mexico. So it's all blown up to the north. And by the time it arrives from here up to there, it's about four, five, six thousand feet above the surface. It's really, really hard to detect. The balloons are sent up, weather balloons, the National Weather Service sends those up. Airplanes are taking observations as they're flying across the, the, the sky here in North Texas. And we take all of that data and then we determine the strength of the cap. So the cap is that warm layer of air aloft that really prevents thunderstorm development. So what you have is you have unstable air at the surface. And as it rises, that unstable air near the surface is, rises and it rapidly Rapidly make storms. You've seen those storms tower up, right? So when that unstable air rises, it runs into that warm air from the high plateaus of Mexico. That's warm, stable air, unstable air rising into the stable air. It just hits. It hits that and it acts like a lid. And those thunderstorms just can't tower up. Oh, they might get to 10, 15, 20,000 feet, but they won't get up to 30, 40,000 feet. And those are the elevations that you need in order to have the tornadoes like you saw in that video in Arkansas. That's what the cap is. And when that's in place across North Texas, it will just completely shut down thunderstorm development. Now, I say that that cap is, you know, four, five, six thousand feet above the surface. It all depends, too, on the thickness of the cap. So there's a whole bunch of variables that go into this. It's some crazy math and a lot of really, really interesting science that goes into this. But it's something just in the, the last dozen years or so we've really started to get a better handle on. And there's still a lot of unanswered questions. But just know when I'm talking about the cap that war, or an elevated mix layer, there's several different names for it. But when I'm talking about that, that's a big difference maker in our weather here. Why doesn't it happen across parts of the Midwest? Why didn't it happen in Arkansas? They're too far away from the source region. That warm air just doesn't blow that far. That warm, dry air just doesn't blow that. Doesn't blow to Minnesota, maybe Oklahoma, but it won't make it all the way to Minnesota.